Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Plant Fanatics. Today we're talking about fertilizing container-grown fruit trees, so stay tuned. Whether you started your plants from cuttings, seeds, or you've had it in a container for many years, this video is pertinent to you. You can see we're in the greenhouse and we have all these plants that we propagated over the winter. And they're happy, healthy, and vigorously growing. And this just would not be possible without a fertilization schedule. If you guys have watched my videos in the past, I've used all different types of fertilizers. Granular, liquid, anything that I can get my hands on, compost, worm castings. And right now I'm using this product called Fox Farms. Now I am not sponsored by these people, but if you guys think that I should be, I really love their products. And if you guys reach out to them, if you go to their website and purchase any of this, let them know that Plant Fanatics sent you. So what do I like about liquid fertilizers so much? I like that I can dilute them and feed these plants with a less potent solution more often. And that's really key to my success personally. Now, if you guys get the Fox Farms Grow Big solution, it's very specific on the back of the product, as you can see right here, about how much of it you should use. Now, it recommends a half teaspoon for seedlings, and that's gonna be accurate, but I actually use a half teaspoon per gallon for all of my plants, and I just fertilize them every other week with that solution, and that has worked wonders for me. I've had tons of people get in contact with me about their container-grown plants and having all types of issues from chlorosis of the leaves or a yellowing of the leaves, or just not flowering and fruiting like the trees should be. And this can all be solved with the fertilization schedule. Now I'm surrounded with all different types of plants. We have variegated vanilla here. We have cinnamon back here. We have loquat, we have figs, we have currants, josta berries, we have elderberries. We have all different types of plants and I am fertilizing all these plants with the same diluted form of liquid fertilizer and it has worked wonderfully. So right here, we have an example of a current and you can see just how happy and healthy that is. That's this fertilization schedule. Uh, we have some elderberries growing right here. We have all different types of elderberries. They're doing wonderful. And you can see this variegated vanilla is doing wonderful. Yet again, the same fertilization schedule. What's so great about that type of fertilizer is that you're never gonna burn the plant. So what I'll typically do is I will fertilize one watering. The next watering, I will run clear water with nothing in it just to get that salt out of the soil. We don't want salt buildup in our plants. And then the next time I'm gonna fertilize again. That is how the fertilization goes with all of my plants, regardless of what they are. Now I understand there's all different types of fertilization schedules. Some people prefer the granular stuff. Some people like liquid fertilizers. Some people don't wanna mess with any of that and they're just gonna use the compost and the worm castings and all of that is fine guys. I'm offering you my personal advice that I've had great success with. And like I said, we are propagating plants all the time. We own a nursery now and we sell plants all over the country. So. Take my advice for what it is. You don't have to listen to it. If you have your own schedule that's working for you, that's great. And actually in the comments, I suggest you share that with other people because maybe they're gonna like your type of fertilization schedule better than mine. But like I said, I'm just offering you my best advice. If you guys like the content, leave a like on the video, share with any of your friends who would be interested in this content. Maybe their plants aren't doing so well and you wanna throw the hint, this is a great video for that. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe. April 15th, all these plants are dropping, guys. You can purchase any of them that, that you want. Honeyberries, elderberries, all different types of figs, uh, bananas, goji berries, all of them. We're dropping all of them. April 15th, theamericanfigcompany.com. Check it out. And thanks so much for watching, guys.